A short time later, history is made again. Okay, Neil, yeah, we can see you coming down the ladder now. For one incredible moment, we are one people with one history, watching our destiny unfold. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. It was a moment shared by an entire world. With these first steps, mankind stood on the highest ground, and we saw our planet as our home port in the endless ocean of space. There was something which was surprising to me that occurred as I was standing on the surface, just after we had landed, I'd gone down standing on the surface and looking at planet Earth for the first time, uh, seeing the beauty, seeing the finiteness of it, the, the limits of it, uh, and realizing what a shame it was that people were confronting each other on that planet without realizing what it was doing to the planet. It was a very emotional moment for me. I actually shed a couple of tears. Uh, something totally unexpected for, for an engineer fighter pilot to be, to be crying up quietly up there in the moon. Mankind had achieved a tenuous foothold in the heavens, and a new and exciting world lay waiting to be explored. The first mission had stayed for only one day, but over the next three and a half years, five more Apollo missions visited the moon, and with each one, we stayed longer, roamed further, and discovered more. I never thought when I was a kid building rockets, you know, in high school, that we would go to the moon, you know, before the end of the, of, of the century. I mean, I thought that was something that was way in the future, fantasy. I was rolling on the moon one day. We have got to understand that as a people, we need to stretch, we need to reach beyond our grasp, we need to strive to do things that seem impossible because in the accomplishment of them, we move society forward. Boy, this is the beauty of this place, is just absolutely incredible. One of the astronauts has said, those hills that we climbed give our children and grandchildren a different perspective that they see the mountains that we couldn't see. And so, what we consider impossible, they're dreaming about. Three, two, one. <laughs> we're right, we're right. When I have a chance to talk to kids, uh, I tell them the first thing I tell them is to take the word possible out of their vocabulary. Go to the teacher tomorrow morning. Scratch it out of the dictionary. It does, the word doesn't exist. If I can stand here and tell you that I lived on the moon, that I crawled the moon my home for three days, you tell me what is impossible. 
in this day and age, much less in a generation that follows much less into the 21st century. Nothing is impossible. I like exploring things, inventing. Uh, I would like to go up there, find out what's really up there. I would like to be an astronaut. I like to design rockets. Payload specialist. I'd be a ground control officer. The thing that my mom can't understand is I'm terrified of heights, but I want to be an astronaut. There's so many things I'd love to do. I would explore, I'd look for everything. I would try to start a farm. And millions of other galaxies that you might be able to live in. It's the unknown. Anything's possible. You may be able to cure certain diseases. Play Mars and dance on it. Play basketball, but you can still be short. Because then you could like fly up in the air. Baseball would be awesome. Hit the ball, you get a home run every time. There are a lot of things that could benefit mankind. That means because of science, we simply cannot do on Earth. It's such a big universe, and it's kind of strange to think that just this one tiny planet was chosen to have life on it. I hear they're finding new planets or moons, and they find out more about how stars are working, and it makes me feel like it's trying to tell me something. What's it trying to tell you? That you belong up there with them. The Apollo program ended in December of 1972, but our journey into space is just beginning. I'm Neil Armstrong. The future of space travel is being written right now in the dreams and imaginations of a new generation. Perhaps that's the greatest legacy of Apollo. It shows our children and grandchildren that with courage, imagination, and the will to explore, no dream is impossible. Cool little toy they got to play with. Ooh, but they drove on the moon. I am with the robot. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you mind taking a picture for me? When you get here early, you can get the number one spot. There I am, right there. Out right out the gate. Coming out for lunch and I'm going back in. After lunch, I went back in and I went to the three IMAX movies that they had. That took quite a while. Uh, it was a really great IMAX movie that they had in there on these Apollo ships and the Space Center. Anyway, it was